Hey guys, what's going on? It's Skyrunner here. Now this video is just a speculation video, and this is basically about what I want Rock Steady to do next. So, from the title of the video, I'm sure you can tell, my dream is that Rock Steady will take what they've done so well with Batman, and they will use it to make a Green Arrow video game. Okay, okay. Now, basically, I want this, as far as the thing to go, must be based off the show to me. I want it to be like, uh, the Arrow TV show. So, the origin could start on an island, just like it does in the show. And there he can learn his skill with the bow and arrow, some fighting techniques and stuff like that. And so that could be like a tutorial mission, stuff like that. I think that would be pretty cool. Do a few missions there, you end off with him going, shooting the arrow, getting the fire started, getting rescued by a ship, and yeah, he heads back to Starling. Whether that from there could be possibly like a dream sequence, the tutorial, and then you know, your ship back to Starling is actually just waking up could happen or else they could do it in real time then he goes back and then you're like actually doing the origin of the arrow in the city. Either way would be cool. I think that could be quite an easy and cool way to do it. And the reason I want this based with the show is because the show is the only version of the arrow I actually know since I don't come from a place with comic books so I don't get to read it. He's like, I only know him from there. But from what I've seen, it seems pretty awesome. Okay, so as far as the story goes, I think that the game doesn't need to follow the show anymore once he's back in Starling because those always have one central villain that's not good enough for a game a game needs many villains just like Rocksteady's proved that there are Arkham games it's always got you know like five ten something villains in it and so from there they can use whatever villains he has honestly as I said before I don't know much about his story I don't know who his villains are I mean for the show they used Deathstroke and Rachel Ghoul who are actually more Batman villains as far as I know so yeah, but if this took place technically after Arkham Origins and then before Arkham City, technically you could use Deathstroke and Raish because Raish only dies in Arkham City, spoiler alert for that game. So he's technically still alive if you had this Arrow game set before then. And then as well, if you consider the fact that Deathstroke doesn't challenge Batman again between Arkham Origins and Arkham Knight, you can have him actually fight in the Arrow as a good way to say, you know, this is where he's been. What's Deathstroke been up to? I mean, I myself was wondering Tell what the hell what this know. guy who's this trained mercenary who keeps saying he wants to kill Batman and that he really wants to come back for a rematch, why would he take so much time off from Last that chance. vendetta? And I think, you know, making an arrow game and that's where he's been fighting this guy in Starling City, I think that's a pretty good, like, you know, good explanation. So yeah, um, I think it would also be cool if you included some of his allies, like right from the get-go, like Batman Arkham Knight did, but this, you know, you can have... As the show has, you can have uh, the Black Canary, you can have uh, Arsenal, you can have Speedy, all of them. And whether their show is active with that character of John Diggle, I don't know if it is, but you could have him there if you want to follow the show a bit more. Uh, yeah, after that, then, I think because the arrow is different to Batman, I don't know if it's really going to suit it to make this all happen over one night. Like, maybe it would be better to take it as having a day-night cycle and, you know, different activities can be done at different points in the day, something something like that. I mean, I haven't seen a Rocksteady game besides the Batman one, so it'll be interesting to see what they come up with when they take one of their games having not just night time. So yeah, that's what I've got more or less for the story. Okay, now for the gadgets and attacking. Basically, Batman Arkham Knight, the system is perfect for Arrow because both are normal humans, they don't have any superpowers like Superman or Wonder Woman or even Aquaman, they don't have any special abilities, they're just extremely skilled fighters with a lot of money and a whole lot of gadgets. So, basically, the arrow has his bone arrow. So he can use that and then trick arrows to do different things. Like he could have a shocking arrow, he could have a hacking arrow, he could have a noise distraction arrow, he could possibly have lethal arrows, he could have... I don't know, non-lethal stun arrows, you know, Batman's car can freaking fire a stun bullet, then I'm pretty sure a stun arrow is okay. Um, yeah, that, it can have that, and I guess what would be cool is if you used that as a moral choice system, possibly. I mean, I think Rockstar could do that pretty well, whether you play the arrow lethally or whether you play him uh, Batman-esque with that code of no killing. Because for the show, at least, I know he starts, the arrow starts out as a killer, that he will kill his enemies, but later on he changes to want to more spare them and only disable his enemies. So it'll be interesting if they put in actually a system like that, a vigilante slash hero system, to see how the city might support you or how traffic might behave like uh, in the game or how street the people on the streets might behave. Because, I mean, 
maybe this one can actually have citizens in their city this time instead of it always being just overrun by thugs because that could be nice and it could also be different so basically as well what i think would be pretty cool would be a bats variation the bats from um fallout if that was used as like a because the arrow is supposed to be the greatest shot in the DC universe as far as with bow goes and stuff like that. It would be cool if you could do something like that where time slows down to the point where next to nothing's moving. Because then that just shows this accuracy that you can then take shots at people. Like that can be mixed with that Hitman system that you've got in... I can't remember what the Hitman game it was. I think it was Absolution. But you play and you can then obviously you have people who know the game. You pause basically and he can aim at all the people and then it goes into like a cinematic of him just firing at all of them and killing them instantly and I think that could work pretty well because of how skilled he's supposed to be and yeah then just for hand to hand the combat fighting is already perfect I mean it can just be different animations and a bit of a different you know flair to it the way finishes happen and stuff like that so I think that's all perfect now, as far as movement Okay, everyone knows the arrow is not Batman. He can't glide around the city. He can't fly. He has no cape. What he does have is the bone arrow, which can act like a grappling hook. So that can replace that, and that's instantly fine. He can ascend to the top of buildings. Then what I think that should be done next is to take the movement system, which you must admit for Batman Arkham Knight, the way he walks and stuff, it is a bit stiff. Turn it more into a parkour system, and then take arrow to have a similarity, in a way, to the new Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So that he's got the parkour moves to keep running over the roofs of his city, but then he uses his bow the way, same way that Assassin's Creed Syndicate is going to use the line launcher. He can use his bow to go between buildings, sort of like a zip line, so to speak. And then from that he can do that. I mean, imagine how cool it would be if you, you had a scene where, like, in Batman, you jump off a tall building, say the Wayne Tower, and just before you hit the ground, this guy fires a bow and arrow up and then launches straight up as a repel or he fires an arrow into the two buildings and then just hang or zip lines down to the lower one whatever something like that i mean you could also use that as an ascension technique just like batman's line launcher so the bow and arrow can incorporate so many of batman's gadgets all in one which i think would work pretty pretty well in my opinion and yeah i really think that knowing rocksteady they're talented enough to change their movement system into a more parkour basis so i mean um i think it could work pretty well i don't know about you but yeah so now this is basically just to close it off why do i think they should do this as i've said before green arrow and batman they're probably the two easiest dc heroes to superimpose over each other as far as ideas of how they fight and what they use secondly uh, this is also obviously taking for granted just my hope that they do another licensed DC property and not something original or someone else's games or something like that. So, yeah, but this is obviously, as I said, just if they do another licensed one, I'm hoping that they choose him. Because I think it would be a lot more interesting to give light to someone like Green Arrow versus Superman or Wonder Woman or Aquaman and stuff like that. Because I just, I find him to be quite an interesting character. Especially now, another reason is that he's one of the few that also has, like, a proper vehicle. As far as I know, at least in the show, he has a uh, motorbike. I don't know if there's a special arrow... Arrow... I don't know, arrow bike or arrow car from the uh, actual comics. But from the thing, the TV show, he just has a bike. And so that could work pretty well now. They've already got a driving system going in. And it would work pretty well, because I mean, instead of shooting out rockets, they could just have him shoot his bow and arrow while on the back. So, I just think that that could work and transfer as easily as well, just like the combat. And yeah, so that's basically why I think it would be perfect to do such a thing. Because, I mean, as well, the biggest advantage is that looking at how so many universes are being built within cinema, Rocksteady could be the first to start building an integrated DC gaming universe. And, you know... Batman was their start, and I'll branch out to the Arrow. I think it would work perfectly. And yeah, I'd be very excited to see something like this come and happen. So guys, tell me if you like this idea. If you absolutely hate it, just comment down. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me what you think Rocksteady should do next. If you agree with me, tell me what I may have left out that you might want added in an Arrow game if that to come. And yeah, if you absolutely disagree, tell me what you think I could have said that was better. What is a better idea for Rocksteady to do next? What superhero game would you have come out next, especially out of Rocksteady as far as DC games go? 
and then yeah so as always thanks for watching guys please like comment and subscribe yeah stay tuned for more stuff and see you later guys